I'm Santiago Jaramillo, and I'm a local artist here in Westwood. This mural I'm doing here is about the environment. The, all the symbols have uh, something to do with either protecting the earth or like elements of the earth. Some of my neighbors don't have air conditioning and they do talk about how, how hot it is. Growing up, nobody talked about that kind of stuff. That's why I use the symbols I do, because I do want to start a conversation about it. You know? For the most part, that's a new conversation here. When we think about uh, climate change impact, I think the biggest one is, is the um, increasing number of uh, warm days that we're anticipated to see. Since I've moved here 50 years ago, I've noticed a tremendous change in temperature. Now it's a lot hotter and the temperature just keeps rising. We have a basketball hoop in our front yard and I would love playing basketball like every day, but it's way too hot to do it. It's gonna impact all of us, but certain populations are more vulnerable to climate change. We applied with our community health partners to develop a heat vulnerability index where we looked at all of Denver's neighborhoods and we looked at all the factors that would cause that community to be particularly vulnerable to extreme heat. What they have in common is that uh, there's a large percentage of families who are at or below the poverty level, individuals with certain health conditions like diabetes, individuals who are elderly or with disabilities. I myself get sick if the temperature rises over about 75 degrees. I start feeling it, I get a little nauseous, my head gets a little bit dizzy. One of the questions we've been asking as researchers is what is climate change? How does it impact human health? And is it gonna make new diseases? The answer is it's not new diseases that we get, it. it's really a force multiplier. But people that have existing conditions like asthma, under a heat stress, more pollution, more ozone, that would exacerbate the conditions they always have. I have four kids and a stepson, and only one of them doesn't have asthma. You just sort of see them struggle and suffer with it and think, this is preventable. This is totally preventable. Why aren't we doing more about that? The rising heat, it affects my health, my breathing. Because I have asthma now, when I feel the heat coming on, I can't breathe. My throat hurts. I start coughing. You know, I live in a little bubble where I have to stay in my little apartment and keep it right at about 72 degrees. I do have an iron deficiency that does make me already more fatigued, so when you throw the heat into the mix, I just get more and more tired faster. I need a, I drink water by the gallon every day. I'm 68 years old. I'm retired and I live in a Section 8 subsidized home. The heat is just going to affect my everyday life and what's gonna to happen to me in the future when I no longer can afford to pay my electric bill to keep cool and to keep breathing and to keep moving and to just live a nice healthy way of life as we get older. I worry a lot. The Vulnerability Index is a tool that we've shared with the planners in our community planning and development department. We've also shared it with health researchers and other stakeholders in the community so that they can better understand how our community could build in either programs or social services or infrastructure in those communities to lower their vulnerability. We do um, outreach through art projects that we do with you know, the community. 
The reason why we chose uh, Paleta carts is because we wanted something that represented Westwood. You know, during the summer when it's nice out, you can see just a bunch of Paleta carts out. Each cart represents uh, something different. This cart's for water. So it'll have like water testing equipment. And then another one will be equipment to take the readings of heat all over the uh, neighborhood. And then one will be um, for climate justice to explain why we need to take care of the environment. The hope is that because we're doing things like this, that we can make it more visible to the public here, to the community here, because these are actually gonna be pushed around the neighborhood. When you show up with something like this, people ask, well, what is that? What does that mean? It just opens up a conversation, like, you know, did you know this, or did you know this is you know, part of who you are? My generation is the generation that's gonna be cleaning up these messes for years to come and fixing the mistakes that we're still making, and I wanna stop that as soon as we can. If we all get together and we all push towards something, that it, at least the conversation has started and people become more aware. Everything we do, we leave for the generations to come. So what we're doing today is gonna to affect you know, our grandchildren and their grandchildren.